Over the course of the Saudi GP weekend, it seemed like Christian Horner had successfully weathered through the storm, consolidating his power at Red Bull. At least, that's what we were led to believe. But over the last 24 hours, changes have been made behind the scenes, with the Thai owners, especially for various reasons, now believing that Horner is not the best man to lead Red Bull Racing forwards in the future. So what are these reasons, and could we see Christian Horner being fired from Red Bull as early as the upcoming Australian Grand Prix? Red Bull enjoyed a dominant performance at last week's Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, proving that the team has no problems on track, in operations, in strategy or within its drivers, basically proving that the racing operation is anything but top-notch. However, outside of the racing, it's just a massive drama and erupting chaos, with developments happening day after day. While many believed following the Saudi Arabian GP that Horner has settled the dust and has consolidated his power within the team, the scandal has taken a startling U-turn. According to F1 Insider, the Thai majority owners are now reportedly following the advice of Red Bull's Austrian minority and are ready to break ties with Christian Horner while other reliable sources believe that this could happen as early as Melbourne within a week's time. Just to give you a brief overview, Dietrich Mateschitz passed away in 2022, at which point the power struggle begins behind the scenes, with three factions fighting over the Thai majority owners, the Austrian side of the business, including Mark Mateschitz and the Verstappen camp, all eyeing to take control of the racing division. Developments occurred over the past few weeks, Firstly, Christian Horner being in conversations with the Thai owners to effectively buy out Red Bull Technologies outside of the racing division, which seemed like a good proposition over the long term. And that's when the whole Horner allegation started, and with the deal we believe was being talked about behind the scenes, it made a lot of sense for the Thai owners to back Christian Horner. But now, why are the Thai owners considering ousting Horner from Red Bull? The first reason for the Thai owners to flip their confidence on Horner is the call for boycott of Red Bull, which is happening in the US, notably an influential market for the energy drinks manufacturer by influential women's rights activists, which has been hitting the Red Bull brand hard. Secondly, the Thai owners are concerned about a potential lawsuit from the female employee in concern, against Red Bull's internal investigation, which may not have been as objective as fans were made to believe even though it is said that the said female employee has been paid a compensation of $700,000 by Christian Horner and a further $300,000 by Red Bull itself. The female employee's details were made public of recent by industry publications, which included the woman's identity and some of her photos. Therefore, she intends to fight for her rights and reputation in an England civil court. The third reason, one which we cannot even believe ourselves but yet claim to be true, is that the mega rock band U2 has agreed to help the female employee with a song. The employee's brother reportedly is the son-in-law of U2's legendary artist, The Edge. Even the Thai owners who have backed up Christian Horner strongly throughout this scandal fear the influence U2 would bring to the table, as it becomes a strong reason for the Thais to let go of Horner as Red Bull Racing CEO. There is a fourth and highly motivating reason for Red Bull to reunite as one and fire Christian Horner. This is reported by Motorsport Total, a sub of motorsport.com. Here it says that Oliver Mintzleff was accompanied in Saudi Arabia by Franz Vatslavik, CEO of the Red Bull beverage business. An unusual measure as far as things are concerned because Vatslavik is neither responsible for Formula One nor has he made a public appearance there so far. Motorsport Total reports that Vatslavik could play a crucial role in the process of finding a clean solution for the Christian Horner saga, in the interest of the entire Red Bull group, especially when it comes to shaking up the previous support of the Thai majority owners for Horner. On Sunday, a meeting between Václavík, Minslov and Chalam Uvidia, one of the Thai owners, will take place in Dubai to discuss the further course of action of Red Bull GmbH in the Horner affair. It has been leaked that a key item on the meeting's agenda is the concerns on the Austrian side of Red Bull GmbH that a continuation of the cooperation with Horner could have a negative impact on Václavík's business area beverage sales. It is important to know that, especially in North America, the sensitivity to issues such as sexual harassment is extremely pronounced, 
According to close sources, large retail chains such as Walmart are considering on ultimately removing the Red Bull cans from their range if the scandal were to spread further. That would be a medium disaster for the Red Bull group, for which the North American market is such an important one. An argument with which Václavik could now apparently also be heard by the Thai owners, and this could be the main factor pushing the Thai owners to drop Horner from the Red Bull racing division. One thing is clear, Horner is clearly losing the power struggle battle at Red Bull, according to these new details. And, as we said before, reliable sources confirm that if this is the case, Red Bull will release Christian Horner before the upcoming Australian Grand Prix. But many insiders, including reliable Red Bull sources, believe this is just gossip and affirm that Horner will stay. Following Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez's strong performance at Jeddah, Horner was questioned if everyone at Red Bull is looking at the same direction, to which Horner replied, we are focused on winning. Horner stated, we are good at that and we got that in Saudi Arabia. We started the season with that. I'm aware that there are a lot of rumours going around, but I don't think the team is distracted. We are one team, although a lot is said about Helmut. Helmut doesn't work for me and Red Bull Racing, he works for the parent company. I think you can see that we are focusing on the future and want to extend this incredible winning streak. Following up, Horner was asked about Max's mindset around the current state of Red Bull, with everything that has been going on, for which the Brit replied, Max is doing absolutely fine. He works well with the team and there are no tensions. You can see how relaxed he is around the garage. That also translates into performance on the track. We don't see any problems with Max, we have a strong relationship with Max. He is doing great and focusing on his performance on the track. Elaborating on that matter, Horner reiterated that this is a team sport and every team member plays an important role in the team's success. The same goes for us. I think probably too much has already been said by other parties, Horner continued. The team is a team. Max and Helmut are part of the team. I lead this team and everyone plays an important role, Horner admitted. Following all this, Horner expressed his surprise towards the rumours of Helmut Marco being suspended and did insist that the F1 team had nothing to do with this rumour. I think the rumour about suspension was as news to the team as it was to anybody else, explained Horner. We were quite surprised to hear that. Helmut is a contractor to Red Bull GmbH, so it was an issue between them. We weren't party or part of that discussion. I've known Helmut since 1996 and he's played an important role over the years. That role has evolved over the years. I've known him for a very, very long time. Coming up to 81 years of age, he's still obviously motivated about Formula 1, which is a positive thing. While all of this was happening, the rumour mill has ramped up to the point of confirming Horner's exit before the Australian Grand Prix. But what do you guys think? Do you think the ties will align with the Austrian shareholders to fire Christian Horner? We are very much into your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section down below. And on your way down, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified of our future uploads to keep yourselves up to date about the 2024 Formula 1 season.